Josh, cruising for street meet again. You're just jealous because I am the moment and you are a bitch. Would you please stop calling me that? Sure, dude. It is ma'am. Oh, honey, if you don't find that dipstick to check my oil, I'm going to lose my nut and bolt. Ooh, yeah, you like that. Mm -hmm. Betray your customers, you must. This is the way of the woke. What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. Typically, I lead the commentating on woke Hollywood to the experts. Critical drinker, neurotic, geeks and gamers, the entire crew all hail the fellowship, but hot damn! I just can't help myself with this one and daddy's hungry. Let's say you went to a restaurant and it was a Michelin star restaurant and you go and you get a chance to talk to chef and you're like, wow, you are very accomplished. You're, you're in charge of this really big, expensive restaurant. What's your favorite dish to cook? And the chef looks at you and he goes, food. And you're like, what the hell's wrong with you? Do you have brain damage? Right? Let's say you went to your doctor and you're like, uh, what, 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 what kind of a doctor are you? Like what, what? part of the body do you look at? And he's like, body. The body is your body. You'd probably say, uh, excuse me, ma'am, can I, can, I, can I see a different doctor? Because this guy is clearly brain damaged. But this is exactly the kind of person that Disney entrusted the Star Wars franchise to. This person on screen is a former Harvey Weinstein personal assistant, Leslie Headland, who worked under, metaphorically, literally, Physically, I don't know. Harvey Weinstein for nigh on six years at Miramax. So why does she keep getting jobs in Hollywood? You don't hate Hollywood enough. But ladies and gentlemen, she got a job for Disney writing Star Wars. A D-plus series called The Acolyte, which trailer just dropped this past week. Leslie Headland was once asked, and remember, this is a person that Disney entrusted with the $67 billion franchise Star Wars, Leslie Headland was asked, what's your favorite Star Wars? And she responded, food. What kind of Star Wars fan are you? I am the type of Star Wars fan that doesn't even have a favorite movie. I just want to live in the universe of Star Wars mm -hmm. continually in perpetuity forever. So when people are like, what's your, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? I'm like, there is no Star Wars movie. There is only Star Wars. So when are you writing a Star Wars movie? Oh, please, please, Queen, Queen Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have ideas? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I think I've had ideas for Star Wars movies since I was 13 years old, maybe eight years old. <laughs> so the person who you entrusted Star Wars with says her favorite Star Wars is Star Wars. How's that going to work out for you, by the way? Uh, not well, it turns out. Not well. Because it turns out that Harvey Weinstein's personal assistant, Leslie Hedlund, has broken records with her new trailer for The Acolyte, her series. And no, ladies and gentlemen, it's not just because of the uh, clear bigotry in the trailer where everyone's told to close their eyes and, it's, and this alien can't do it. Close your eyes. <laughs> No, it's uh, because of the like and dislike ratio right here. Yes, YouTube took away the dislikes. Of course, you can put in an extension and get the dislike counter. And oftentimes the dislikes are, in fact, lower than the real true number. 516,000 dislikes. So half a million dislikes, 177,000 likes. Well, that is a pretty bad ratio, ladies and gentlemen. You don't have to be good at math to know that. Pretty bad ratio. Even even uh, even this guy could see it. <laughs> the Acolyte has suppressed 500,000 dislikes. Well done, Disney. It's the most unpopular trailer in Disney history. A line from the trailer is, it's not about good or bad. It's about power and who's allowed to use it. This was written, presumably, by... Harvey Weinstein's personal assistant, like a little on the nose there, right? Like a little on the nose. Isn't that the point of Harvey Weinstein? Like, what, like, is this some type of self-insert, Leslie? Oh, man, it gets worse. Comment section, just absolutely brutal. I'm afraid the comment section will be quite operational. The part where Leslie Hedlund went, it's forcing time, and then shoved a bunch of teen mistresses and actresses into Harvey Weinstein's office was truly one of the Hollywood moments of our time. Close your eyes. What do you see? I see Leslie Hedlund walking young girls into Harvey Weinstein's office. Close your eyes. What do we see? I see George Lucas sobbing in a pile of money. Ooh. Oh, man. 
Here's the actual trailer, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, YouTube hides the dislikes. Hot damn! Comment section popping off. Someone killed the Jedi. It's Disney. <laughs> what do you see? The comment section getting turned off. <laughs> Close your eyes. What do you see? Fire in the comments. Close your eyes. What do you see? Disney stock plummeting. Close your eyes. What do you see? Chrome extension. I see half a million dislikes. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. What do you see? <laughs> Cartman as Kathleen Kennedy. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We have our own Cartman trailer for you. Uh, 500,000 dislikes at this moment. Smells like a great success. Your eyes can deceive you. Disney, now is my chance. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. I see a particular episode of South Park. DEI Master. Close your eyes. What do you see? Padawan. I see fire. DEI Master. Don't worry. Those are peaceful protests. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. What do you see? People canceling their Disney Plus. Actually shocked that Disney didn't turn off the comments yet. <laughs> Friendly reminder that YouTube turned off dislikes to protect these companies. Ooh, ooh, man. It's pretty great, ladies and gentlemen. It's really great to see. The entire uh, universe is uniting, uh, obviously, against these monsters. Leslie Headland is a monster, by the way. You go through and look at her career. She hasn't done anything. Here we go. She, she never even wit she never witnessed any incidents with Harvey Weinstein. She was just his personal assistant. You know, every other employee of Harvey Weinstein has come forward and apologized and had to make statements. Leslie Headland gets a pass. Isn't that amazing? She never once had to like go apologize for anything. Never once had to like, never once went to the cops, never told and didn't say nothing. She hasn't done anything. This is what's remarkable. So like everything that she's done, it hasn't even been in the genre, right? You'd assume you'd want somebody in the like action adventure genre. Everything she do has done has been like greasy, greasy rom-coms and like pithy intersectional fem feminist poetry and diatribes. And then out of the blue, she's just handed Star Wars on a platter. Ooh, man. And who does she uh, get to write those Star Wars? Oh, people who've never seen Star Wars. Remember, she's the one who said, my favorite Star Wars is Star Wars. The Acolyte showrunner explains hiring one writer who'd never seen Star Wars. How do you even find a writer in Hollywood who's never seen Star Wars? Seems like a bad idea. When asked about the Star Wars that she's making, Leslie Headland said, uh, I want to make a great Star Wars that'll be true to the original vision of Star Wars and service the fans. No, no, she didn't say that. She said she wants to make a Star Wars for the message. I saw Frozen as a as a grown ass woman. I um <laughs> I cried through the entire movie. Uh, there was just something about, it's about you. It's all about you. the relationship between the sisters, the, the like de villainization yeah, of right. uh, the classic kind of fairy tale bad bad guy, you know, um, uh, the concept of true love being between two sisters and not a heterosexual relationship. Like it just, mm -hmm. it just destroyed me completely. And I thought, you. gosh, you know, you. I would love to make something like this. That is, uh, you know, for lack of a better term, Disney, meaning it's something that like my parents would have allowed me to see when I was younger as a queer person, gotcha. but I would have been able to understand as a queer person. And I think I, I would have had a completely different life. And so I really was in inspired by it and was like, God, I would. You mean you wouldn't have worked for Harvey Weinstein and covered up his crimes? That, that would have been a good difference in your life, but that's actually. Love to make it. a story like this. Oh, make a story like this. She did in her description of the story she made. She says it's frozen meets kill bill. What the hell does that mean? Do you, do you know anything? I mean, that's something like my three-year-old might say. What does that mean? Critical drinker. That description literally makes no sense. Titanic meets Fraser. <laughs> 12 Angry Men meets Walls and Gromit. Actually, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Batman meets Captain Underpants. <laughs> the Acolyte. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Predator meets Pretty Woman. Nerdrotic. Marvels meets The Eternals with more diverse lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, this is what everyone's thinking. What everyone's thinking. And you know what's amazing is they don't even try and hide it, right? They don't even try and hide it. The clips of Leslie Headland 
that come up are just shocking. This is the person who straight up says, um, I'm going to be racist against white people to get my films made. She doesn't, she doesn't like subtly say it. She doesn't use DEI. She just says it, right? I mean, I guess on its face, there's just some, you almost have to respect the sheer amount of hate, self-hatred and racism that this person practices every single day. Could you, could you imagine being that person, this person and, and waking up like this? I say that like I, I think white women need to kind of step up their game to be quite honest like sorry but i'm calling i'm calling you <laughs> out like um you really do because like you know you mean you did you check the mirror you know you're a white woman like we can i couldn't agree more with everything that that these brilliant women are saying but like I i'm also seeing the silent killer which is a lot of white women at the top who are kind of reinforcing a lot of old ideas they're they're you mean like you working for Harvey Weinstein? That which is like something that you literally did and you reinforced the ideas that he was allowed to be a serial predator and rapist? And you didn't say nothing? I think a lot of it, you know, to give them the benefit of the doubt and I'll just speak from my own personal experience. Oh, OK, because you were a personal assistant to Harvey Weinstein. It's like I wasn't sure how to be an ally. I wasn't sure what type. Well, you report the crimes that you witnessed. That's how you become an ally. I got so caught up in like what kind of terminology I was supposed to be using and being politically correct. And 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 so uh, as I started to rise in television, I started to just get more blunt and just start saying like, I would like a black writer. Because if I said diverse, no, you know, you, you, get, you get, well, white is diverse, which is something somebody said to me. And I was like, wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, it's not cool, but, um, but, but look at this, 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 this seat right here, this couch right here. This is, these are the people who write star Wars. Now, this is it. These are the people, the self-referential self-loathing, narcissistic, nihilistic cretins who like can barely live with themselves because they work for Harvey Weinstein and covered up his crimes and never went to the cops and didn't tell anyone because what? Because it's actually all about power. Yeah. It's incredible that clip exists. And it's also more incredible that there was a, a actual trailer, the real trailer for the acolyte, uh, quite accurate, actually, given Leslie Headland's vision for the project. June in a galaxy far, far away, a threat will rise mysterious rivals will search high and low for the most elusive thing in the world of the acolyte something so rarely seen most believe it has ceased to exist a white male character some say on screen white males are a myth the relic of a bygone age but there are rumors that the peace of the high republic will be disturbed to ward off the threat of a single white male appearing in the acolyte trailer Enemies will unite, alliances will form, on-screen diversity will be pushed to new limits. Disney Plus and Leslie Headland will strip Star Wars of any magic or originality in a quest to purge the galaxy of the danger of on-screen white males and cram the trailer with nothing but boring ass b and benign wimpy dudes in a show that is so diverse it is effectively Order 66 for Caucasians. <laughs> Okay, the account that posted that, Echo Chamberlain, uh, is the account. Uh, no relation, as far as I know, to Royce Chamberlain, uh, who works on our team. But who, who knows? Could be his burner. We're not sure. So, ladies and gentlemen, bad days, uh, bad days at Disney. Uh, one, of the, one of the biggest shareholders at Disney, Nelson Peltz, uh, billionaire investor, uh, who has a roughly a $3.5 billion stake in Disney, entered it into a fierce proxy fight to join the company's board, says, why do I have to sit through another Marvel movie that's all women? <laughs> Slams woke Disney and more amid board proxy battle, uh, saying, well, he hates what they're doing. He hates it. Disney, by the way, has been slapped with a complaint over 50% DEI goal for underrepresented actors and crew sidelining white Christian men. Disney has been sued by Elon Musk 
over these practices that are quite obviously racist. You you ever you ever read the Civil Rights Act? You're like not you're not allowed to hire people based on the color of their skin. Period. Why do I have to sit through another Marvel movie that's all women? No, no I don't have anything against women, but why do I have to do that? <laughs> it's great. Uh, it always like comes back to this, ladies and gentlemen. Elon Musk was right. You believe that this is the one part of your business where you will be beholden to those who uh, have this view. G what do you do? F what? Well, well, let me ask. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> is that clear? I, I hope it is. Hey, Bob. If you're in the audience. <laughs> hey, Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the most ratioed trailer Potentially, in human history, the new Star Wars trailer, we are winning. All hail the fellowship. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. See ya.